morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now this morning we're up at the top of the waterfall here. And I was, what I was hoping is that we are in midsummer now, so I was hoping that the water foot the, the water course itself had dropped down a little bit. But it's it's not just not gonna happen. So what I'm gonna have to do here is actually divert the water coming into this little pond that I've, we've made up here. Because what I want to do is actually start to elevate the height so I can put in an acceleration plate going into a collection box. And then from there, have a, my penstock running out so I can catch silt here. Because I am having dramas, although everything's temporary, I'm getting blockages come through. And I think that maybe what we do there is from the acceleration plate, we then go on to the coanda um, self-cleaning screen to get rid of a lot of that debris. So, I've got a bit of work ahead of me this morning. I've got to divert this somehow so that I can then start mortaring in some extra blocks this high and then so I can work out where my acceleration plate's going to be. So, I'll get a few things organised. I'll come and find you and I'll see you soon. All right, so we've put a few little diversions in place onto the stream, and I can now see our solid wall um, from the original takeoff. So we'll just let this dry a little bit, and then I'm going to start raising this, cementing and rocking this wall up a bit more. And we're sort of going to keep an opening section here where we could have a plate coming into a collection box at this point here. So with the gate valve open, um, everything's going to work pretty well. So I'll get um, some mortar and cement mixed up, and I'll start laying some blocks. And, um, and hopefully in a couple of days it's all dry, and then I can slowly start making my way up. I'll have to put some overflows in place. Um, I'll put one at either end, sort of where that natural course is going now. And I'll maybe have one on that side there. So anyway, we'll see, how, we'll see how it all pans out. All right, I'll get back to it. I'll come and find you and I'll see you soon. All righty, so here we are. I've just mucked around and, and lifted or raised our wall here for this little pseudo dam that we've got going on. And this is the area that I thought what we'll do is well, I can then get a um, the acceleration plate over here and then into a collection tub. Now, this point is lower than the natural overflow back over there. Um, and then we've also put in another overflow at this point and another overflow there just in case. So it's not sort of going crazy. We actually have controlled water coming through this point. So at the moment, it's all sort of holding together. We'll have to wait now a couple of days to let this concrete go off. I'll source something here in a collection box. I'll, I'll do some trials of different experiments and um, and then we can release this these sort of temporary um, water diversion that we had and and away we go so fingers crossed it all sort of comes together all right and um, anyway we'll let this concrete go off we'll go find a couple of things I'll come and find you and I'll see you soon all right so here we are back at top of the um, waterfall and you can see the, how I've raised the damn wall now and I've got a, like a little chute here ready for our acceleration um, plate now I've got the tap open oh no I've got the tap open so that's draining a lot of that water out now what I'm going to do is actually close this now and what we're going to find is that the water will start coming through that chute area. Watch out. Watch out. Okay, so this is slowly building up now and the water's coming through. We had to make a few little adjustments um, and narrow this area a little bit. Um, at the moment, we're sitting at around about 500 mil. So there's quite an substantial amount of water coming through. And that's just slowly building up now. So 
So that's working an absolute treat. The concrete's gone all hard, and what I've done is we've made a, a template for the acceleration plate. And what I'm gonna do is go um, into Melbourne, into the big smoke, and talk to a guy to get him to fold me up an acceleration plate, customized to suit us here, so that we can have it coming in and, a, and across. Now, this is sort of my my template, which is just an old barrel. And this is going to be sitting sort of something like that there. And then hopefully what we're going to find is that I've got a tub in here, and that will then, um, I'm going to modify that tub to make that as my um, collection box. And then from there I can run my pen stock out. Now, I'm going to, because of the algae, and I'm not sure if you can pick this up here, but I'm getting a lot of the algae come across all the rocks and things like that. So that's what's going to get caught up onto that acceleration plate or onto that Coanda um, screen. So I'm just going to get my box and I'll show you how it's all going to get set up. I'll come and find you and I'll see you soon. Okay, so here we are now. We've got our acceleration pseudo um, template in place. Now you can see I'm still getting a lot of leakages and things like that. And what I'm going to do is actually put a, a lip up the side of the acceleration plate so it becomes more like a chute. But in saying that, here we are in the middle of summer and what I've done is I've worked out this hole here on the side. Now, that hole gives me 15 litres a second and that's pretty constant even now with all these water leaks and even the water leaks behind me and a few other bits and pieces. So I'm really stoked about how it's really coming together. This is something that I'll use as a part of um, our collection box. And again, what I'll do is once we have our sides come through, that'll be running on a, the coanda plate running through here to elim eliminate a lot of that debris coming off the, the natural creek. We'll have some sides coming through. And then what I'll do is I'll actually have the pen stock come from the end, running straight out. And th that will then pick up our main line running to the hydro plant. So at the moment, everything is coming together really, really well. Obviously the next step is to work out this um, uh, acceleration plate and we'll get that made up in stainless steel. I can then have my coanda plate running across the top here and we're home and hosed. So as a part of what we're looking at as, as what we're trying to achieve, um, our 800 watts, everything is coming together really, really well. So as a bit of an update, what we've found now is that we certainly do need some sort of collection box because as a part of our pen slot, we were getting too much debris come through our line. We were getting twigs and, and everything else. Um, so yes, so I think as a part of the main structure, the only thing that we'll need to really manage, um, and depending on season, because remembering, this is only going to be for us over winter. Um, yes, we can use it over summer, and we're quite lucky to have this sort of water flow coming through, but typically over our winter months, where so we don't have to turn on our um, generators down at the homestead um, when there isn't su um, sufficient solar. So, a few little, let's say, redefinements as a part of our system. We're now working closer to our end result. Um, and we can go from there. So, so all about your hydroelectric plant, making those um, redefinements and, and constantly changing and making something live with what you've got as a part of your own resource, and, and water is certainly ours here. Like and subscribe.
and I'll see you soon.